only do the finger pressing thing. Excuse me, are you just using ordinary bread flour on there? or there. Or, what? Yeah. or sand flour? As it turns out, it is artisan flour, but it, was, mm. it would be just bread flour. Right, yeah. I just didn't yeah. bring any bread flour with me. Mm. I had to fill the tubs. What's artisan flour, sorry? Oh, this is this special it's one special that you have for sourdough. It's oh, called okay. artisan mm. euro flour, right. style flour. It's really good. Makes a really good croissant, so I could tell you. <laughs> would have been oh, cheaper if I'd driven to Helen to get the, the flour rather than sending it to Tassie for it. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> But I have to I have a beautiful wholemeal flour. Mm. So, Oatlands. Yes. Um, what we're going to do now is the top two corners, we fold a little bit down, so almost a third, but not halfway down, uh, and then fold the centre piece to that line. Mm. Then we turn around, do the same thing from the opposite direction. So outside corners in a little bit, in that middle. Uh -huh. Now, what we're going to do is fold that over and seal along the joint. Mm -hmm. So you've got oh, a hole. Right. Mm -hmm. Professionals do this little clever trick with it. Oh, yeah. And it stitches they just shut. like to show off. They do. They're also very good at it. Yeah. <laughs> but you have a seam there, and that right. now is going to go into a banneton. Yeah. Yeah. That the dough them. is risen in, but not cooked yeah. in. Okay. It's going to rise in these, then we tip it out and slide it into a hot oven. So, what I have done in the past is sprayed these with baking spray so that the semolina stays up the sides. Mm -hmm. But I don't spray it with anything that semolina just falls to the bottom. Yeah. So I have sprayed them, then I dust the edges with semolina. And then this goes in there. Seam up. Seam up. Because that's bottom up. It's mm. going to go oh, down and it goes into the other. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 